praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, Palm Sunday, where Jesus triumphantly enters Jerusalem. It's a happy moment, and the people are happy with Jesus because the going is easy. But pretty much all of these people are going to disappear when the going gets rough. So all the people waving the branches in that first gospel that we had in the narthex, those people are nowhere to be found during our second gospel reading, the Passion and Crucifixion of Jesus. So like it or not, this touches upon the very nature of true religion. If your religion only tells you the things that you want to hear, it's a scam. Sorry to be the one to tell you that, but it's true. Religion is meaningless if it never challenges you and if there's nothing within it that you are willing to suffer for when the time comes. We're not here to change the church or change the teachings of Christ. We are here to be changed in our discipleship to the Lord. And that means not always getting our way or getting what we want. Personal growth doesn't really happen without that necessary ingredient. So they say, they they teach us something in seminary. This whole idea of obedience, huge thing for people who want to become priests. Uh, Obedience to the archbishop is a huge, huge part of what that final step entails. And so they taught us something. The phrase is, obedience becomes important only for the final ten So what that means is, you know, imagine your boss, for me it's the archbishop, but it applies to any boss you've ever had. Consider everything your boss expects you to do at your job. Chances are about 90% of those things are things you would have done anyway. the value of obedience only shines through for those final 10%. The things you don't particularly want to do, the things where you maybe need someone to jab you out of your comfort zone. It's easy to be obedient when your boss says, hey, go take your break now. It's very different when your boss says, hey, I don't care what you think, it's your job. Go clean the bathrooms. One of those things might make you employee of the month, the other probably not, and I will leave you to work out which is which. Palm Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week. Most of the people that we heard in our readings today, they just don't go the distance. Their devotion to Jesus brings them to Palm Sunday, but not Easter Sunday. Their obedience to Jesus, King of the Jews, Eh, they never really managed to get past that 90% cutoff. So I ask you between now and Easter Sunday, be strong, remain firm and resolute, trust in the Lord, not only when it's easy, but when it's hard, and when other weaker people choose to turn and run away. Because it is those moments, most of all, that your faith will come alive and take on fresh meaning that you had never seen before.